Developing news, San Jose investigators are looking into the death of a man whose body was found at the bottom of a high school pool. KPIX 5's Lisa Chan is live at Piedmont Hills High School where students are still in shock. Lisa? Uh, good afternoon. Well, the district superintendent says there is a camera on the pool and that video will be used in this investigation. But for today, he just wants to focus on getting things back to normal at this school. I know um, a couple of people uh, that might be a little distraught going to school today. Stephen Musto is a junior here at Piedmont Hills High School in San Jose. He's hoping to have a more typical day after a body was found in the school's pool Friday morning. It was very sudden and we were all very confused about what happened. The body was in the deep end, weighted down and hidden by a pool cover. It was a shock. It was a shock. A shock for this parent and especially for the teacher and students who discovered the body as they removed the pool cover for a morning PE class. I didn't think it was true. I was, it was just so sudden. It was very strange. Like, I did not expect to hear that on Friday. The district superintendent, Chris Funk, says a deceased is an adult male and is not a student or teacher at the school. He says all schools with a pool struggle to keep people in the community out when they aren't supposed to be there. In all of our pools, we have approximately a 15-foot fence that's gated, that's locked, that also has a barbed wire. And then on the inside, where you can enter from the locker rooms, those, those doors are secured and also have an alarm to them. But that alarm never went off, so the superintendent believes someone probably hopped the fence. But until he gets answers, he just wants to make sure the students and staff are okay. We certainly have our social workers and uh, support staff there to provide any type of counseling that any of the students or staff may need. So far, the district superintendent says things have been fairly calm today at the school. He says while this was a tragic event, the kids are resilient. We did speak with the county coroner's office, and they still haven't identified the body. In San Jose, Lisa Chan, KPIX 5.